Hey, Bible Geek Squad, what's going on, everyone? I can't wait to show you what I just got. What's going on, Bible Geek Squad? Thanks, guys, for clicking on this video and checking out this new review. Guys, you already saw, uh, I got with me the new King James personal size large print reference Bible. Beautiful, done, beautifully done very well executed look at that that is gorgeous it's stunning premier collection ladies and gentlemen now this bible will retail at 189.99 you can always find great deals on christianbook.com or and if you belong to any facebook group you can find it there as well now i'm just going to be honest with you i'm going to try to make this video a short video because i don't want to bore you i don't want to keep yapping my mouth you have no idea how many takes i already did and i'm just like no i think i spoke to too much no i think i chatted too much i ran my mouth quite a bit nope 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 you know and so this is like my 20th take so here i go i hope my battery still lasts because it's gonna be embarrassing if it just shuts off i mean you won't know but i will <laughs> see there i go rambling all over again but anyways it's because i'm excited ladies and gentlemen i'm excited man there is a reason to be excited today and that's because ladies and gentlemen i've been using the new king james translation for about a year now okay for about a year and i'm falling in love with this translation the three translations that I've been digging into, uh, number one, obviously, the NLT, the NIV, and uh, the New King James. But the New King James, I've been holding on to it for about a year now. And it's just, I I've been falling in love with it, okay? I have, it's it's a, tr it's a translation that has really won my heart. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people that love the NAS, a lot more people that love the ESV. And I think that the New King James falls in between the NAS and and the ESV. That's where the New King James translation is. It's very readable. It's understandable. Um, and I love it because it's a lot better. Or I, I, I think it's... Uh, it's more readable than the ESV translation. Now, I'm not going to get into translations right now. If you want to hear about my take on that, let me know, guys. All right. But uh, here is this gorgeous looking Bible, my friends. It's a beautiful edition, and I have it in my hands. Look at the goat skin on this, man. This is absolutely stunning. One, two, three, four, five race tabs. New King James. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. Holy Bible. This is beautiful beautiful looking bible now it is a premium goatskin leather like you guys already saw which is fantastic uh it is mine so my friends which is great uh you're you're also seeing there uh three double-sided satin ribbons red blue and brown i don't know if you can tell that it is my zone uh but it is my zone okay okay all right, so it is uh, it is edge line, which is great, which means that the leather is wrapped and it's holding on to the text block, unlike a paste down liner. This is edge line, okay? And on the inside, you're gonna see that it says goat skin leather. There you see how it's uh, how it is uh, edge lined. Uh, the leather is wrapping. That's what you see here, right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so that, my friends, is awesome now this bible it's going to be double column which i'm going to open up right now or oh, you know what let me open it to the very beginning um uh, well not the very beginning but like in exodus and the cool thing it is double column it's also verse by verse there's not a lot of space for you to write notes there's some space i uh, trust me it well if i can write in a pit minion and i can make some little notes on a pit minion this right here would seem like a wide margin, okay? <laughs> it, it's it's nice. There's not a lot a lot of space to write notes, and again, it, and that's fine. I think that this Bible is great as a preacher for a preacher. You know, I think this is. I mean, it's great for anybody. But if this could be a, a if if your if your translation, gosh, get out of me. <laughs> if if your translation is the New King James. Uh, this and your preacher, this would be a great choice for your preaching Bible. Okay, if you preach out of wide margins, say hey, that's that's great, you know. But for me, this would be my preaching Bible right here. I love the, the I love the size. It is verse by verse, which is great. Double column. It's not a single column edition. It's double column, which 
makes it in my case even better because that's what I prefer. Okay, the paper, 36 GSM paper, lined match, I may add it is line match. There's hardly any ghosting whatsoever, my friends. Hardly any ghosting, which is great. If any, there's very, very little ghosting. If any, if any, I, I, I have to be as honest as possible, but it's line match. There's hardly any goat skin, goat skin, ghosting whatsoever. My goodness, do I pay attention to myself or what? <laughs> but anyways, look, let me try to show you some of the ghosting. Okay, look, that's the ghosting right there that you see right there. And you're, you're probably thinking, Babu Geek, what ghosting? Exactly. There's hardly any ghosting whatsoever, man. This this is a beautiful edition of the Bible. This is a large print, as you heard me say already. It is a large print, a personal size Bible. So keep that in mind. What's the size? Ten and a half point uh, font. Ten and a half point font on this edition. Uh, it does have. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, art gilding on this Bible. So if I can get it to focus, uh, you're going to see this salmon under gold. All right. I can't say that it's red, but uh, it is more of a salmon color under uh, under gold, pinkish. It's beautiful. If you guys want to see me do some art, adding art gilding to this Bible or to any other Bible, let me know. I don't think I want to add to this because it just feels so beautiful. But anyways, anyways, 36 GSM European paper. Okay. Get it right. 36 GSM European paper. And this European paper, ladies and gentlemen, is, is great, man. It's it's beautiful. Uh, the other thing I wanted you guys to notice real quick was the text, okay? It's nice, dark, and bold, ladies and gentlemen. The words are not cramped. They're not all cramped together, uh, which makes it easier on the eyes for you to read, okay? It's gonna be a lot easier as you're reading the, your Bible it's gonna be, uh, it's, it, you, you, uh, you strain less. Uh, you're not trying to make out the words. No, man, it's 10 and a half. It's nice and spaced out, which is great. It's not a heavy Bible. If you use this as a preacher or just in general, and you're holding your Bible, whether you're holding it with two hands or you're holding it with one hand, it, it's not gonna strain. You're, you're not gonna be like, oh my goodness, my arm is so sore. It's not. Uh, this is a red letter edition, as I mentioned uh, er, uh, earlier. It is a red letter edition, which you can see there, okay? Now, one of the things that I like to go through when I see a red letter edition is I like to go through the pages, okay? And uh, uh, just to see, does it fade over a couple of pages? And no, one of the things that I've admired of Thomas Nelson and some of the editions that they have sent me so I can review uh, is been the, the, the red letters. When I get a red letter, that's the first thing I go do. Okay, I'm gonna go check it out, I'm gonna go compare it. And the thing I really like about this edition is that they're very, very consistent because there's some editions that start off uh, like a maroon color and you end up at a pink color. And it's just like, what in the world just happened? You know, and no, Thomas Nelson, especially for a $189 Bible, uh, you expect not only goatskin leather, right? But that the construction of the Bible would be solid, okay? Uh, it would be solid. Uh, the paper would be great great paper again 36 gsm european paper hardly any ghosting whatsoever i could venture to say that there's no ghosting at all on it because it, it's that's how good and that's how great this edition is thomas nelson really thought this one out and just threw it out there man they've they've been doing great work over the last one two years whenever it is that the whole premiere collection started they've been doing such a wonderful job and they've been improving they have been improving so much uh, and it is fantastic. I'm excited about what Thomas Nelson is doing and what they will do. Some of their newer projects that they'll be throwing out later on. I don't know what they are, but I'm excited to see what they are doing and what they will do, ladies and gentlemen. So, again, it is a red letter edition. If you don't like red letters, well, too bad, you know, because this is one. And it's, it, it's uh, they're consistent. And I like that little... Uh, the, 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 that little attention to detail that they did, you know, the, the text is red, red letters, but then the verses are black. Then that's, that's pretty cool, man. I really, I really did enjoy that. The New King James is very well known for the footnotes. And uh, uh, sure enough, man, let me show you some of the footnotes that they include right there. Look at that. Here are the footnotes. Sorry if I'm moving too much. 
They they do add, and I've heard it from fans that are you know ESV fans, NASB fans, that the New King James has the best footnotes in a Bible, and that, my friends, is respectable. That is awesome. That is great. Um, and that's what you're going to see. There are no book introductions to this Bible. The moment you open it up to a, to a new book or a new epistle, you're going to get the title. That's, that's what you're going to get. There's no date. There's no... You know, like any other study Bible has, no, this one, you, you open it up, Galatians, and, and there you go. You jump right into the text, which is why I said that this would be a great addition for the preacher. Uh, a pastor that is preaching out of the New King James, this would be a great choice uh, for your preaching. Sunday after Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, this right here would be it. This would be great for your carry everywhere Bible as well, because again, it's not fat, it's not huge, it's not too thin that it feels like a tablet that you're holding in your hand. No, this Bible with the kind of goatskin leather, look at this, the kind of goatskin leather that they added to this, it feels like what a Bible should feel in the preacher's hand or in your hand in general. It, it feels good it's not too smooth it's not too rough where it's gonna you know mess up your your soft hands or anything like that it's great ladies and gentlemen it's great it's not too floppy look look it's it's not too floppy and that's even better i understand that there's people that love super floppy bibles i don't know how you can love super floppy bibles when you're reading it and the leather's like over here it's just like what does that say you know what I mean? Look, this is perfect. That is great. I can do this. I can do this. And look at that. That is great. And I know that within within time, as this Bible continues to get used, it will eventually get to here. I hope it doesn't. But uh, uh, for now, I mean, I'm going to enjoy this. So uh, 10.5 10 point font, large font print it's very nice the words are not cramped they're very nice and spaced out smite sewn edge line perimeter stitching perimeter stitching right there look at that beautiful ladies and gentlemen beautiful it's a great edition of the bible ladies and gentlemen and one that i really really enjoy and i highly recommend so go to christianbook.com and check it out for yourself order it for yourself at the end of this bible you're going to see the famous maps all right a lot of people like maps and then you'll also get uh the concordance now the concordance does have three columns and they're super tiny super tiny they but they packed so much into it ladies and gentlemen so that's my review my my minor review if you want to see something else on this i'll be more than happy to do another uh bible review on this and i'm not done with this i'm not done with it because i want to see how it holds up man i'm very impressed with what thomas nelson is doing guys don't forget i'm doing a bible giveaway check out that video and sign up if you haven't signed up god bless you take care and i'll see you in my next one Bye-bye.